This just happened. I actually had a realtor reach out to me and ask me, not on a transaction that we're working on, but another transaction that they have with another lender, what some of the timeframes are supposed to be on a loan status update. So it occurred to me that that was a great question. And I bet while we as lenders know what should be going on with these timeframes on the loan status update, many realtors may not. So here's what I did. I took a loan status update and I put general guidelines of timeframes that you can expect. So when you're looking at this, if something is not occurring in one of these general timeframes, it could be a red flag. And it might be a good idea to reach out to the lender and just ensure that things are on track. For example, if you're down to a close of escrow, and let's say you're closing on a Friday, and that closing disclosure has not been sent yet, and maybe it's a Wednesday, you got yourself a problem. It's gonna be a good idea to reach out to the lender and just check in, what's going on? Is there a delay of close of escrow, et cetera? So take a peek at the link below. Please note, this might vary a little bit from lender to lender, but it's a pretty general guideline, and I think this is gonna be helpful just to give you context of what the timeframe should be. As a reminder, when working with the Kelly Zitlow Group, you're automatically gonna get a copy of this loan status update every Tuesday. We call it LSU Tuesday on my team, and it happens automatically. If you found value in today's information, please subscribe and let us know what you're thinking and learning in the comments below.